Uh, ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to Rajas Kakasungura. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, kindly take your two seconds, click the subscriber button, and in that way, you shall have supported me in one way or another. Yesterday was a historic day for the people of Kisi County. Yesterday is a day that will remain in historical books. Yesterday is a day that people will be referring in the history of Kenyan politics. It's a day that something happened which the young and the old have condemned by all means possible. All of you, you saw breaking news yesterday when Mother Karwa had stood to speak to women at Gusi Stadium. Immediately she took the mic, a tear gas exploded at the podium, and the meeting ended prematurely. People scampered for their safety, and that is Kisi County. I want to go back to explain a few things, because in person, I covered all the events in Kisi County as they happened. In Kisi County, we have the Kisi Sports Club, where the choppers carrying Mother Karua and Ada Odinga landed. They proceeded to the Kisi County Women Reps Office, where they commissioned a rehabilitation center for the people who have been abused, what we call gender violence. They finished, then we proceeded to Kisi Capital Roundabout, where Mama Ida Odinga, Mother Karua, Jam Songwae, Simbarati, Chris Obure, and other aspiring candidates attended. They finished at the capital roundabout, though there were some fracas, though not that serious to that extent. We finished and proceeded to KTRH. <laughs> at KTRH, at the CEO's boardroom, Mother Karua spoke to Simbarati and told him, Simba, this is my meeting, Panga Yako. Why did Mother Karua utter this statement? That is Mother Karua told Simbarat. Why did Mother Karua utter this statement? The reason is, earlier on, the aspiring governor Simbarat had warned and said, Kwa hiyo podi ya muyamadha karua, tutakanyagana, wakwanguka, anguke. That was like two days before mother karua toured Kisi. And in the morning before mother karua landed in Kisi, the Simba Arati team is alleged to have broken into Gusi Stadium. You know, remember, that the meeting at Gusi Stadium was purely for women because yesterday Mother Karua came only for women because even the, 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 the hospital commissioned at KTRH was purely for women, mother and child hospital. So mother expected being a women day, I will be addressing my women at Gusi Stadium. So women had gathered at Gusi Stadium as early as beginning at 9. Sibarati he is alleged to have been moving around with vehicles announcing kwamba hiyo mkutano ya Gusi Stadium sio ya wamama ni ya watu wote. So they broke into Gusi Stadium and allowed men to move in. Young people moved in carrying posters labeled Simba and they were chanting Simba Netaya. That is not my issue today. So after KTRH boardroom, uh, because I was present, 
we moved to the field whereby Mother Karua was commissioning the historic project which has been done by Governor James Ongwai, the Mother and Child Hospital. Mother Karua liongea hapo, Simbarati ya Kazungumza, Governor Ongwai and other candidates, Chris Obre, wakamaliza. I, my car was parked just a few meters from mother and Ida Odinga's cars. So, because I'm a journalist, as they drove out mother's car, Karua's car, Ongwai's car, and Janet, I was right behind them. Because we were all proceeding to Wusi Stadium as it was early planned and announced. Mother Karua, Ida Odinga, they were proceeding to Wusi Stadium because it was a woman meeting. Tulikuja mbio wale mnajua kisi. Tukatoka kati ya reji. Tukakuja mbio. Tukafika junction ya kisi town. Barabara moja. Inaenda daraja moja. Inaenda Nairobi. Ingine inapanda. Inaenda sports club. Mahali ndege zilikuwa zime, zimewekwa. Na ingine ni ya kupanda kuja kisi prisons. Ingine ni ya kuenda. Unapita Ram Hospital. Unaenda kisi Central Police alafu unashika barabara ya mashauri unateremuka ukija Gusi Stadium unaingia kiwanjani tulipofika kwa hiyo junction because there were traffic police officers and they had barricaded the road tu wasi daraja moja walifungulia gari ya Mother Karua gari ya Ida Odinga gari ya Senator uh, Janet Ongera women rep Janet Ongera gari ya Simbarati Gari ya governor ngwae zikapita. Wengine tukabilokiwa, tukambiwa tupande uh, ramu, tuingie polisi, tuenda gusi stadium. So I started asking myself, because I was right behind them. Tukwa tunaulizana kwa wale wanabari, kwa wale mebeba kwa gari. Then it's like, mother karua and Ida Odinga not going to the stadium. Because we, we've seen wameenda. Na unajua wakienda pale, it's either they go to Nairobi, ama warudi juu wapande ndege, Waenda. So we're asking ourselves, hi, silikia watu, hawaendi guzi stadium. Because hii rutu wameenda, it's like, they are departing. So, uh, as we made our way to Kiteremuka, tulikuwa tumefika get ya guzi stadium, Hasa tulikuwa tumeamua ah, these guys are not coming it's like hiyo ah, mkutano ya Gusi Stadium umeungua. So as I drove just past the Gusi Stadium gate I saw Mother Karuaska speeding Simbarati Ska and Governor James Ongwae and Mother Karua was on top of the of the sunroof waving to the people that was like haya guy come they are back again haya Now I got suspicious because I never saw Ida Odinga's car and I got suspicious. Ida Odinga and Jana Dongeras car were missing. I was asking myself, okay, kwani hao wameenda wapi? Kumbe vile walifunguliwa kwenda daraja moja, it's like they had decided not to attend the Gusi Stadium kwa sababu they actually ilipikana watu warushana mao wa physically. Ilipikana proper before the tear gas. Hapo hapo mwanzo before Mother Karua afike ilikuwa ilisha kanyakana proper so nikajiuliza okay how to so Ida Odinga it came to my attention that Ida Odinga Janet Ongera wao walitoka wakaenda sports club kungwajea sasa madha karua maliza mkutano so that waende so madha karua yeye pushed his way to Wusi Stadium Simba Radi pushed his way to Wusi Stadium. Governor Ongwae pushed his way to Wusi Stadium. As Ida Odinga and Janet Ongera shifted to sports club. And they avoided the Wusi Stadium meeting. So, after the tear gas exploded, I had so many questions to ask myself. It's like Ida Odinga had an intelligence report. That Wusi Stadium could be chaotic. And being the incoming first lady, it will look so 
awkward before you that you have been evacuated, you know? So it's like Ido Dinga had a, a first hand intelligence report. Na walikuwa natulia husi stadium kuona vile mambo ya taenda. As they were watching. But again I'm told, I don't know how, but from sources privy to the guests, I am told that by them being allowed to proceed to the Rajamoja as others were blocked, is like they had made a decision not to attend the Goose Stadium rally. But because Arati had mobilized enough, he could not have missed that opportunity to show Mother Karua kwamba mimi ni kusema na kutenda. So it's like they convinced Mother Karua into Gusi Stadium. And Mother Karua had no decision. She bought the idea. Shh, wakaenda. Ida odinga kazema mimi. Mm -mm. Mimi eh, wachana na mimi kidogo. Wacha ni pumziki. So that is how Ida Odinga escaped the Tiagas fracas. He avoided. It could have been looked so bad if Ida Odinga alikuwa pale na Tiagas inarushwa na munajua mama Ida Odinga ni nani. It could have looked so awkward. It could have looked so bad that an incoming first lady in Kisi County where a cabinet secretary for interior Dr. Fred Matiange comes from Amerushua tear gas on the podium. It could have been so bad. Now, it's imagining that the person who threw the, can, the, 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 the tear gas canister is a certified police officer. Mm. Now, we don't know. But then, as time goes by, I will be following details to give you an exclusive report on this forum. So, it's like Mother Karua ignored the intelligence report from Ida. Because Ida must have advised her. Kwamba hapo ni kubaya. But kwa sababu Mother Karua is a politician, and she had to achieve her goal. To me, it's like, unajua, ni kama maali walienda kwanza walienda kamukunji, wakaenda kukonsulti kidogo kuuliza na tuende ama tuwache. But mata karua kasema, haa, ni sawa, mama Ida, you are a first lady, na jane tongera, wewe ni mgeni wa hapa, peleka mama sports club wa pumuzike kidogo, mimi wacha nienda kuona hiyo mkutano ya vijana. So Mother Karua, it's like he ignored the intelligence report and proceeded to go to the stadium and that is where the tear gas canister got him. It was a bad picture. Where Fred Matiangi comes from, a whole CS interior, a police officer throwing a canister to an incoming deputy president that was so shameful to people of Gusi. Shameful. Ha, ah, shameful. But then, that is politics. For you. Myself from this platform, I condemn the incident by all means possible. That in the future, we should not see such happen, not only in Kisi, but in other counties. Let everybody sell his ideas free without interference. Kenya is a democratic republic. If you don't love somebody, what you say, aende. Ngoja yule unaye mpenda. So to see when watu wakupikana ovyovyo kwa vitu ndogo ndogo ambazo zinatuaribia majina sisi kama wa Kenya. So bad, it's so awkward and it was a bad picture that will remain in the books of history. We can never write it off. No matter what, we will never write it off. But then it happened. Thank you so much ladies and gentlemen. May God bless you. Keep subscribing. Mungu wa bariki sana. Asante.